spending time with young disciples today. We're not going to have our usual story time. We have something very special planned. Mr. Rick Netzel has brought a song for you. This song is called A Place in the Choir. Now, before we listen to the song, I want to talk a little bit about what it means. A place in the choir. Hmm. What's a choir? A choir is a group of people that get together and they sing. Well, in this song, the choir, it's not really a choir that Mr. Nutzel's singing about. It's about the family of God. The choir represents the family of God. And he's going to be singing about a lot of animals and different animals finding their place in the choir. And those animals are going to represent all the different kinds of people in the world. I want you to think for a second. Think about all the different people you know. Do all those people look exactly the same? Do they all act the same? Do they all wear the same clothes? Do they all talk the same? In my family, we all look and act very different. Each one is very special. Some of us are tall. Some of us are short. Some of us have light skin. Some of us have darker skin. Some of us have really dark skin. But you know what? In our family, we love each other just the same, no matter what we look like. Is that what it's like in your family? Do you know that it's the same in the family of God? God made us all very special. And when God made us special, God also made us look different from one another. We look different, we act different, but do you know that that doesn't matter to God? And because it doesn't matter to God, it also shouldn't matter to us. So while you're listening to this song, it's a lot of fun and you're going to see lots of pictures about different kinds of animals singing. But I want you to remember there is a place for every single person in God's choir. place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with a big to-do and the milk cow just goes blue. The dogs and the cats, they take up the middle where the honeybee hums, the cricket fiddles, the donkey brays and the pony bays, and the old gray badger sighs. All God's creatures got a place in the choir, some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on a telephone wire, some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. All God's creatures got a place in the choir, some sing low and some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire, some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Oh, listen to the ducks and the little birds singing on the melody with the high notes ringing. Who all cries over everything and the blackbird disagrees. We're singing in the nighttime, singing in the day. The little duck quacks and he's on his way and the otter hasn't got much to say. The porcupine talks to himself. All the God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. It's a simple song, a living song, everywhere by the ox and the fox, the grizzly bear, grumpy alligator and the hawk above, sly old weasel and the turtle dove. And Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. All God's creatures got a place.
voice in the choir Some sing low, some sing higher Some sing out loud on a telephone wire Some just clap their hands or paws Or anything they got now Some just clap their hands